Pop-up animations can be a fun way to encourage your viewers to follow or subscribe, and they add a nice professional flair to your live stream. So this week, I have three different pop-up button animations that can be customized either as follow or subscribe buttons, and they can be customized to animate with your emotes. They look something like this. And all you have to do is download the file from the Discord, link in the description, and follow along. And if you enjoy the free graphics, please do consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It's completely free, it lets you know when there's new content, and it really helps me out. That being said, let's get started. My name is Chris Folia, I'm your stream professor, welcome to Stream School. All right, when you first open the Blender file, it should look very similar to this. And the very first thing you're gonna want to do is come up here and click the shiny circle button. That'll put you in a rendered preview mode so you can constantly see what your pop-up looks like as you're working on it. Then you can just quickly hit space on your keyboard to play through. It pops up, it clicks, the brightly colored circles pop out, and then it goes away. And quick side note here, you will notice that I included a whoosh and a uh, click sound effect. And I want to encourage you here to add your own sound effects, like when it gets clicked, maybe it'll have music play or have some sort of interesting sound effect play. And you can learn all about how to do that in the tutorial that I posted last week. However, moving right along, these brightly colored circles are meant to be your Twitch subscriber emotes. And it's very easy to replace these over here on the right with these five squares right here. So you can click them, go down here to the materials panel and where it says emote one, two, three, four, or five, you can hit the X button, hit open, and replace that with one of your Twitch emotes. And I realize not all of you have five emotes available to you. Uh, and that's totally fine. You can either do duplicates in these slots or you can delete them from the animations later and I'll show you how to do that. But I'm just gonna go through and replace these five squares with my five emotes. So we've got the mega oof and then there should be one more which is fun game. So after the emotes are replaced, we can hit space to play through and you'll see them pop out as the subscribe button gets clicked. So now let's say we wanna customize this subscribe button. You have a few controls right here. You can change the button color to whatever you want to match your stream aesthetic. You can change the text color to whatever you want to match your stream aesthetic. And you can change the border color to whatever you want to match your aesthetic. Or if you just wanna get rid of the border altogether, you can pick the same color as the body. I'm personally going to leave mine alone and leave it at purple because that's what people are most used to seeing for the subscribe button. Then if we come up here to the outliner, we have a bunch of different collections. Global controls only contains the five emo squares right here. Then we have a buttons collection and you notice there are six different collections. We have a subscribe and a follow button style for each of the different types of buttons that I've created. So if we uncheck that and check that, now it says follow. If we uncheck that and check that, now we have the shiny button. So if we play that one, it animates a little bit differently and it's nice and shiny. And again, you have full creative control over the colors of this and for the text and for the border as well. Moving right along, we have the same thing in a follow button, and all of this still plays and it still works just fine. And we also have a metallic looking subscribe and follow button as well. And the same controls apply to this one as well. You can do the button tint over here in the materials panel. You can do the text color, which I would recommend leaving this one a little bit desaturated so when it lights up, it still glows white, but just has like a slight color tinge to it. And you decide how far you want to go with that, but you have full creative control here. Then you can also change the border color as well, which is also lit up when it gets clicked. But those are the customization options for the buttons. Moving right along, you notice there's also, I'm going to undo all of my color choices here. Uh, notice we also have a follow button for this one. You notice there's also a nice emotes collection here. So if you're doing a follow button, you might not want any emotes to pop up. And for that, you can just hit the checkbox to get rid of it. 
So now nothing pops up. Or you can check it back on and go through each of the three animations that I provided and decide which one you like the best. So we've got one, which is where the emotes sort of pop out like that. Then if we uncheck that and check the next one, we've got two, where they sort of come out in this nice star pattern, sort of representative of a Twitch subscription, a little bit on the nose there, and then they collapse back in. Then we've got number three, which is where they sort of rain out from below the button. And you remember I said you can easily delete the emotes if you don't have access to five different emotes or if you just want less emotes to pop out. Uh, so you can come over here and you can just click on whichever one you want to get rid of. Let's say I want to get rid of the luck one. No luck here. You can hit delete on the keyboard and it will go away. I also accidentally hit slash and return at the same time because I've got big fingers. Uh, let's say I want to get rid of Mega Oof as well, click it, delete it, and same with any of these. So now, if you only have two emotes, they both pop out. Or let's say you want just the top one to pop out because you only want to show off one emote. You can select these four, hit delete, and now when it gets clicked, only one emote pops out. And again, if you really want to, you also still have the option of making all of these duplicates. So you can select the same emote for that as well. So just like that, you can have as many of the same one as you want. And this applies for all of the different emote animations as well. I realize I only showed this one, but let's say you want less emotes to pop out here. You can select as many of them as you want, hit delete, and now a lot fewer emotes pop out. So again, you have complete creative control here. Uh, do whatever works for your stream aesthetic and for your specific pop-up animation. Uh, that covers the customizability of this. The next option is, or the next step is gonna be to export the animation. So I'm personally gonna go with emotes two and subscribe button one. So it pops up, it gets clicked, these pop out and then it goes away. So to export this, you want to go to the printer icon right here. And I've already set up all of the proper video codec options and audio codec options. All you have to do is click the folder under output and save your animation somewhere. I'll call mine subscribe pop up, hit accept and then go to render and render animation. This will pop up, it'll go through rendering out each of the individual frames, and when it's done, you should have a nice WebM file wherever you decided to save yours. Now, hopping over into OBS, I personally like to control this using my Stream Deck, so I'll show you how to do that right now. You can hit plus down here in OBS, you can add your media source, search for your pop-up animation. I'm gonna call this pop-up, hit okay go to browse and then find my pop-up and then you're going to want to check or uncheck show nothing when playback ends I, that one always evades me but then hit okay and now you notice it plays and it goes away and you can drag this wherever you want on your stream it's designed so that the mouse sort of appears it doesn't just come from off screen it scales up so you can put this wherever you want on your stream and you can make it whatever size you want on your stream but then if you just hide it and play it again it pops up the emotes pop out and it goes away but let's say you want to control this with the click of a button using your stream deck you can bring up the stream deck tool from elgato no they're not sponsoring me god i wish they were uh, then you can come over here to multi-action, drag that to one of the slots, and this allows you to do multiple actions. So we can go to OBS Studio category, we can grab source, and I want to find my scene and my source, and we want to activate this. Then after that, we delay, which is under the Stream Deck options, for a specified amount of time. This pop-up is about three seconds long, so I'm gonna delay for three seconds which is 3,000 milliseconds. Then, after that, we want to do source again, except this time we want to deactivate it, and we want to do tutorial scene and pop-up. So now, if I come over here to my stream deck, I don't know if I can get this on camera, and I press the button, you'll notice it pops up, and it goes away, and then it hides again, which if you watch the little I key right here, that's the important part. It pops up, turns on, plays through, 
and then the eye turns off and it hides again. So that is pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully at this point, you have a cool new pop-up animation for your live stream. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below the video for new content every single week. And if you have any questions or just wanna come hang out with our incredible community, I'm live every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday at twitch.tv slash oraclefishlive. Let me know in the comments which button you liked best and let me know what kinds of things you wanna learn how to do in the future. Until next time, my name is Chris Folia, I'm your stream professor, class is out.